Hey, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Paul Apollonia here to uh, show you what I sold on eBay for last week. That picture will be bigger so you can see my ugly mug here. Uh, from uh, July uh, 13th, 2020 to July 19th, 2020. Hey again, I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay since about 2001. Took it seriously around 2006. Started selling things around in my house. Then a friend of mine gave me a bunch of stuff and I went, Wow, this is pretty cool. Maybe I'll do some online consignment. And I've been doing that ever since. About 60% of my business is online consignment. Love doing consignment. It is not for everyone. The key is finding good clients that know the uh, the market value of their items, that they're not going to expect that this 39 cent pen, because our grandfather used it for 15 years, is worth $200. It's worth whatever market value is. I do try and get the most I can for my items, but most of the time it sells for market value. I also do a lot of parting out of items. Love doing parting out, parting out of stuff. Get my stuff uh, for free, basically, on uh, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, dishwashers, appliances, you name it. Stuff I find on the side of the road, in the trash. I'll part out anything to make a buck. I also do a lot of training locally at the, well, I used to do it at the high schools, now I'm doing it more online using Zoom. I used to do stuff at uh, colleges around North Carolina, community colleges, not doing too much of that anymore, it's just doing it all on Zoom. And I do a few other things to bring in some extra income. Uh, last week, I'll be honest with you, it was not a great eBay week. July and August are normally slow. So it's not just you, it's not just me. It's just a slow time for eBay. It's just the way it is. People are away. Maybe not this year, but uh, it's just slow. Just remember, you got to list every day if you can. I'd, I like to try and do at least five items a day, um, even if it's one item. eBay wants to see activity on your account, whether you have a store or whether you don't. So let's get this uh, show in a room, as I like to say, on what I sold. This will probably be pretty quick. Because I didn't sell a whole lot. This is not everything I sold. This is just a selection of what I sold. Uh, first off, we have a cigar box. I've told you about the cigar boxes before. I get these at a local wine and cigar store. I'm a cigar smoker. It's about my only vice I have in my life. Not a heavy smoker. I do enjoy maybe two or three a week at times. Um, going to the wine shop and I buy my cigars. I look over and I say, hey, there's empty boxes up there. Uh, I grab as many as I can that I know will sell. I've been selling these for a while. These are not big ticket items. Most of my items I'm selling on eBay go for from anywhere from a couple bucks all the way up to about $30, $40. Uh, I do get those gems, $100, $200, $500,000. So those are far and few between. Uh, I'm happy with my sales price range. A lot of people don't touch things less than $20 profit. Hey, whatever. We all run our businesses our own way. I'm not saying anybody's wrong or right, but it works for me. And most of my stuff I get for free, like the cigar box. Didn't make a ton of money on this. Made about $7 on this box. Went out first class, wrapped it up with some foam that I had from a furniture store dumpster that I grabbed, put it in a poly envelope, and away it went. And it went first class. Most of these cigar boxes are under 16 ounces. Remember that when you are uh, shipping within eBay, when you keep your shipping in eBay, your uh, items are uh, first class goes up to 16 ounces. If you took that same box to the post office, theirs only goes up to 13 ounces. Let me go over what I do on my list, how I do my listings. My titles are basically uh, keyword friendly and Google search friendly. You want to worry about those two things. No special characters. I know you're going to say it, and my students say to me all the time, hey, but Paul, man, I saw an item that sold for $300 that had all these special characters in it. I know. I just try and follow best practices, and special characters are a no-no, meaning whatever, any, any kind of special characters, uh, at signs, whatever. Just, just keep it to where this is very, very, this is how your item will sell with your title. Keep it keyword friendly. Um, as the uh, condition description, I always use this when I can. If I'm not selling anything new, you won't have that option. But any other option, I'll have a condition description. Uh, that protects you on a return if there's a problem, as long as it's not your fault. <laughs> but um, I always use that. Um, I create that, and I basically copy, copy this down into my item description. Going further down, I'm offering free shipping here. 
offering economy shipping. Economy shipping, I probably should just do first class on this because I knew it was going to go out first class. But I pick economy shipping because then it gives me every option that eBay offers. Post office, FedEx, I can do any option I want to do if I pick economy shipping. Now, when people see economy shipping, they're going to see a long period of when they get the item. Uh, the 27th, I sold this the other day. So, you know, it could be a week. It could be waiting a week for it. But it went out first class. I should get it within a couple of days. Um, what I like about the economy shipping, like it, it, it allows me to, to use any of the options. If I were to say first class, well, there really is no other cheaper way but first class. So, okay, let's say I said priority and I shipped to first class. Well, eBay may support me, may not, if there's a problem with the shipping. Um, you're still using PayPal. eBay is going to what they call managed payments soon, which is going to be like Apple Pay, where you're going to be able to accept a lot of different payments. A lot of people are scared of it. I've heard a lot of positives and negatives. I think it's going to be a good thing once they work out all the kinks. All my pictures are done on my phone. I use both my computer and my phone, the app on my phone, to create my listings. The background is basically a poster board from the dollar store for one dollar. The light is probably my dining room chandelier, maybe, or some, I don't know. I may, I may take this outside, may have been in the garage. I always try and take measurements of the box. I'm having more and more issues with this, though. I need to start putting the measurements in the uh, in the listing so people can see it because some people are not seeing it. I've only had one of these returns so far in all the years I've been selling them. Always remember item specifics. Now, I used many, as many as I could here. Uh, that's about all I could think I could use. You want to use as many as you can, obviously. eBay and Google love item specifics. When you are in your listing creating it, you'll see a drop-down menu for each one that's selected. You want to use something in a drop-down menu. Millions of people have searched on that. And if it's not there, you can add your own. But it's, you, want, you want to really try and stick with something that's in the drop-down menu. My description is pretty bare bones and basic. It's basically the title I copy and paste and what I had up into my uh, condition uh, description. Let's look at the shipping options here. Shipping thing I'm doing what they call. Oh, let me let me close this up a little bit. You don't need to see my ugly mug that big. Um, I'm using Global Shipping Program, GSP, they call it. Uh, it's eBay program where if I'm shipping internationally, all I have to do is get it to eBay site in Kentucky. And once they get it, you will get an email, I think, not an eBay message saying, hey, we got your item. Once they have it and it's your item and it's packed properly, it can get lost, stolen or broken. eBay picks up the cost on both ends and refunds you. Um, I've heard nightmare stories from people saying that some buyers get charged too much. I have no idea. I love it. It's so easy to do international shipping. Um, you can do international shipping. It can be a hassle. I've done it a couple of years ago. I need to try it again to see how hard it is today. Uh, 30 day uh, return period, obviously. And that is about it for my listings in a nutshell. Let's go to the next item. Uh, this was a consignment item but it was given to me after a while. People do that with consignment. That is what is so cool. Always tell everybody on a side note, always tell everybody what you're doing. The amount of free stuff I get just from people saying, Hey, do you want this? I know you sell on eBay. Do you want this? This is, um, I get lots and lots and lots, tons of free stuff. Um, I had this listed a while ago, about a year ago and I sold it, but then I noticed that the, here we go in the just here. Let's scroll down here so you can see it better. It says blade needs to be sharpened or replaced. Refer to photo number 10. So let's look at number 10. Again, these are all done on my phone. There it is. So I, I listed this a couple years ago and I sold it and I noticed the blade was all beat up like this and I refunded the buyer and I said something's wrong with the blade. This time I found it again in my garage. I went, ooh, let me try and list this again. I was honest with the blade. It just needs to be sharpened or ground down is all it needs. Um, and I made pretty good money on this. Made uh, probably 40, 40 some dollars. It went to New York, I think. So shipping wasn't that bad. So um, that works for me. Sometimes I make money on shipping. Sometimes I don't. I do not refund 
any money for shipping. People know what they're paying for the shipping. Uh, most of the time I make a buck or two. I have no problem making a few bucks. Sometimes I make more than that. I got to get the boxes, the packing material, whether I get my stuff for free or not. It's my time to ship stuff. So that was a pretty good sale. Uh, this was a local, this was an eBay local pickup. I haven't done one of these in forever. It's been years and years and years since I've done a local pickup. This was a big bulky item. This is the one I got from the barn find. Uh, the barn I went up to a couple, about a month ago. A friend of mine called me up. This is why I'm telling you again. Tell everybody what you're doing. And keep on reminding people. Hey, don't forget I sell on eBay. Don't forget. I do Amazon or whatever you're on. Etsy, whatever. A friend of mine called me up one day. He said, hey, there's a barn up the street. They're tearing down. The guy said, if I want anything in the barn to take it before they tear it down. He doesn't want anything in the barn. He said, are you interested in coming up? I said, sure. See you there tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Drove up there. I must have made $600 off the stuff out of this barn. Uh, he even helped me out getting things out of the barn. This was not one of the last items, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost done selling everything from the barn at this point. And I figured this thing's big. I'll just do local pickup only. Only, excuse me. Um, it is one ramp. It's a single ramp. It's a motorcycle ramp. It took me a while to look this up on Google. It's sort of an older item, but also what I have here is I also item specifics, lots of them, but I added my own shipping. Buyer sets up shipping. So if somebody wants to ship to them, they're going to have to pay for shipping. So guy buys it, says to me, and this is why I don't like local pickups because it turns into a Craigslist transaction most of the time. I was trying to be positive. I was trying not to get my mind set in this. Guy buys it Friday. He messaged me. He says, okay, call me and I'll pick it up. I call him Saturday morning. I said, How, how's Sunday morning sound? Okay, great. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 9.30. He messaged me. Uh, 10.30. Okay. I wasn't, okay. Half an hour this one. Uh, 10 20. I'll be there in 55 minutes. I was gay. It was this point. I was very, very annoyed. I have things to do. I've already taken, you know, you're already, it's an hour, almost two hours of my time taken up here. I go up there and he's there and we make the exchange. Now there's this new pro, uh, there's this new thing they started out with your phone. If you're doing local pickup, there's a QR code you can scan and he brings up his with a QR code and I, we couldn't figure that out. So what I did was, I uh, cop um, I printed out two copies of the PayPal invoice, printed two copies that I signed them both with the date, and I had the date next to where he was going to sign it. He signed them both. I gave him a copy, and I gave and I kept a copy for me, and I saved that in a message back to him through eBay, and I I took a picture of that and I sent that to him. So eBay has a record of all this, because uh, I've heard nightmare stories of local pickups where people try and do a PayPal refund and. Sometimes that works, but I don't know. He seemed happy with it. He had a huge motorcycle on the back of his truck. So uh, I'm assuming it worked out fine with him. So that's another barn fine. I think I made about 50 bucks on this after fees, maybe even more than that. So it was a good day there. Uh, this was a consignment item. I uh, hooked up with a guy closing up his uh, dad's uh, repair shop next town over. Gave me tons of parts. Some of them are selling. A lot of the manuals are selling. Very slow tail sales, which means it's taking a while to sell this stuff. Some of the parts are okay. Some of the parts are hard to find, to look up. But uh, I'm, I'm selling stuff. It's just, it's just taking a while, and he's okay with it taking this long. It's been about four months now. I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff, which is taking up a lot of room in my garage. Um, sold this within two days. Listed it. There was one other one out there on eBay. And I did my best. I put the UPC number, I think, in there. Where is that at? It should be in there. I thought it was in there. Um, used all the item specifics I could find. I made sure that I even added stuff in there, the length, the full length of, of the antenna and everything. And like I said, I sold it a couple of days. I get 50% of what the item sold for. I rarely ever do free shipping on consignment items. It just messes up the matrix. It went... It wasn't that bad on shipping. I think it was $9, $10. So I made a little bit of money on shipping. Um, went to New Jersey, I think. So it's a 50-50 split. My consignment uh, rates are 50-50 split, 
hundred to two hundred dollars. It all depends what we're dealing with, and then it goes down from there to percentage. But see, I paid nothing for that item. All I had to do was go pick up two carloads of auto parts, no money out of my pocket, and I just split it 50-50. Not here's a low end sale, low dollar sale. Um, I had a lot of video, had a lot of games, PS2 games from an older, older consignment client just a couple years ago. Probably more than a couple years ago. Sold all the PlayStations and everything and all the other stuff he had, all the big stuff. And we had all these games. He goes, don't worry about it. We're done. Just do what you want to do with them. Didn't make a lot of money. I think I made $4 on this after shipping. Games go out first class, not media mail. You cannot ship out a game media mail. as to go out first class. Darn it. I wish it was media mail. Could have made more money on it. But it was good. I chose free shipping because that's what they all were. The solds. I look at the solds and I try to do my shipping however the solds are. If it's free shipping, I'll do free shipping. If it's not, then I won't. I'm not a big fan of free shipping, but I'm doing it more and more. eBay loves it. It helps you out in your searches, in your um, rankings on your item if you're doing free shipping. Two more items left. Oh, another cigar box. I didn't mean to put that one in there. Just another cigar box. I didn't make a lot of money on this. Same amount. Probably made about five or six bucks on it. So um, there you go. Uh, a VC don't uh, a VHS tape rewinder. Now, don't discount VHS players. They stopped making them last year, and there are still people who watch stuff on VHS. There's still VHS tapes you can sell. Anything obscure, anything that never got transferred to DVDs, for example, like children's, um, a lot of the Barney stuff didn't get transferred. Uh, some of the Clifford stuff, just a lot of the kid stuff didn't, uh, Bob the Builder didn't get transferred to DVD. There's a lot of stuff. Always look for your obscure, uh, like train tours through foreign countries, uh, just just different things. Uh, wrestling stuff used to sell big time VHS tapes. I don't know, WWE, I don't know how that's doing now. But there is still a market out there for VHS tapes. You're not going to make a lot of money on them. It's what they call a loss leader sale, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I believe sometimes these little sales, these couple buck sales, that uh, that game I sold, that brings traffic into your store. And I have no problem selling stuff that that low. But um, yep. So what I do here is when I'm, and when I'm selling anything electronic, I always try to there's a box unit. I always try and show the unit powered on. That's forward, that's reverse. So people know it works, and it did work. Well, that is about it, my friends. Say, hey, I forgot to tell you one other thing. I'm offering my eBay training class. It's about a two-hour class video series. The link will be below in the um, comments there for you, in the description. Um, it's normally $97, so I'm offering it for $1 for a limited time through this corona situation we're dealing with. I know there's a lot of people at home, and there's a great way to make some extra money. Maybe even start your own business with eBay while you're maybe not working or out of work or working. You need some extra money. It's much better to sell on eBay than to go get that second job. You're home. When you're doing eBay, you're not working somewhere else at night. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I try and give you guys value with everything I'm doing here. I'm going to try and up my video game a little bit. I know I've been slacking off the past couple of weeks. But, uh, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and thank you for watching. I'll see you now.